Hi, I'm Billy Costa, and uh, I'm here at the Mass General Cancer Center. I'm sitting here now with Marcella Moss. You are the director of cell therapy here. Yes, that's right. Uh, that's pretty impressive. In a nutshell, what does that mean? Describe it. So CAR-T therapy is when we take the immune cells of the body, we collect them from the same person, and we take them to the lab and re-engineer them so that they can recognize the cancer and kill it. A couple of minutes ago, I said it was going to change and in a lot of cases save people's lives. Can you yeah. put a perspective on that? When we start with a new therapy, and particularly something that's really was considered science fiction when we started. That is something that is considered high risk. Um, so right now it's not something that somebody with a new diagnosis of a leukemia or lymphoma um, is eligible for. Um, but once they've had sort of the standard chemotherapy, if they've had uh, and their disease has progressed or, mm -hmm. or has relapsed after the initial therapy, then they can become eligible for this kind of therapy. Where does uh, Marcella Moss go from here? We're trying to make it so that the whole process of how we engineer the T-cells becomes a little bit more scalable, have it be more automated, more robot-led, um, rather than PhDs doing all of this work. Um, I think that that will make it much more scalable to wider populations.